Now I've really loaded my brush, so when I put a color on top of this, I might pick up some color from the bottom to have it a little bit warm, but I'm not, I'm really putting it on top of the colors. And I really have loaded my brush here so that I'm not picking up too much of the color. I'm not mixing it in. I used a little bit of permanent magenta. I thought it was a little bit too blue. It was bluer down there, and then it gets a little bit redder, or a little bit, you know, like a permanent magenta towards the top of the sky there. And this board, I'm going to, at some point, saw it in half. I'm doing half a 9 by 12. So I'm probably now I'm going to go to the light part of the sky. So I'm going to make sure that my brush is clean. I probably cleaned it with the mineral spirits. So I'm adding a lot of white and I'm going to go into the light part of the sky there. There's some clouds, clouds and then there's a little, little bit of clearing right at near the uh, horizon. I think now I'm going to go back and that um, kind of rust color, I'm going to cool that down a bit. Not yet, I guess. That's like still putting in the back hills. So as I'm model, modeling the form or, or um, changing the color, making it closer to what I see, I'm always relating colors so I make sure that I'm not repeating the color, that I'm still painting the difference between the color notes. So I'm just lightly, lightly putting my brush down back there because I'm starting to define those back trees. So I have a lighter touch on my brush. And then I can use my palette knife to scrape it if I, because I'm trying to get that horizon line to be straight. I'm softening the edges there. I thought the edges were a little bit too hard. And a little bit of a color change. So there's like a green patch back there. I'm just putting in a cool green. So I'm cooling that down a bit because it is a gray day study. Now on a gray day, the light planes have a tendency of being cooler than the shadow notes. I mean, there's not a drastic difference, but there is a difference between the light plane and the shadow notes. So those shadow notes are a little bit warmer.
making this also cooler, still darker than the sky. But because I have that intensity of color down first, when I cooled it down, I didn't lose the color. No, it still has a lot of nice saturated color, which you get on a gray day because it's not bleached out by the sun. So there was some cool grass like right over there so I'm cooling that down. And then see how I change the my the, the my brushwork. Um, I'm not using the brush in the same way throughout the painting. It depends on what I'm painting. Now here's a fan brush that I'm going to just get into a little bit. You don't want that all over, but maybe in certain places. Because you want variety of brushwork, variety of texture, variety of color. That's all a part of a good painting. V variety of shape. So I'm putting in some shadow notes there. Like I said, it's all backlit, and I'm breaking up some of those big shapes back there. And filling in the white spaces. I'm feeling more confident, so I can start filling in those white spaces. Not really pressing too hard, I'm just putting paint on top. And I think brushwork is just something that you develop over time. You know, it's like you will develop, the more you paint, the more you'll develop your own brushwork. I'm going to pick up a rigger now, and I kind of fill it with paint. No, that, yeah, and squinch it down, and I can get some other strokes. If you can see, I'm... And I'm only going to do that in certain places. I'm not going to do that all over. And that's a rigor that I've kind of squinched up and created another tool with will give you different brush strokes. So now I'm back to my fan brush. Near the end, I'll start using different brushes. Soften edges.
So I'll get to a certain point. This is a demonstration. So I'll get to a certain point and then I'll take it into the studio and finish it and I will then post it on uh, my Instagram account. Now I thought the sky was a little bit too textural so I'm kind of flattening out the texture in the sky. Because that's a, a bank of clouds and then there's the really light part of the sky coming through. But see, the sky still is lighter than anything on the ground. I call that the sky-ground relationship. So when you start, you should, and you can see it even in the back, the back that's not, um, you know, you can see the sky is lighter than anything on the ground. I think I get in at some point to make the the light part of the sky even lighter. Well, I want to thank everybody who's watching. Thanks for watching. I try to post these uh, demos every every Wednesday. Um, it's Thursday. I didn't get to it till Thursday. Um, and sometimes I just do like a, a a recording, and then sometimes I have somebody actually come in and film this, so we can get more close ups and get some uh, some uh, shots of me mixing paint. Um, but I'm trying to lead you through my process, talk about what I do, what I'm thinking about when I'm painting. And uh, I hope this, is, uh, this has helped you. Um, so I ask you to subscribe to my YouTube uh, if you appreciate this content. So here I'm making the sky lighter. And probably a little bit cooler. But here I really load the brush, so when I put it down, I really can get a, a, a light, because it was a little bit muddy there, so I really loaded my brush and put the, the paint on top. Like I say, I'm going to finish this painting and I'll put it on my Instagram when it's done. I'll take it back to the studio. So now I think I'm making that uh, a little bit, changing the color as it, it before it hits the sky. So there's like a color change from the sky to the tree to the darker part. Softening that edge there. There's a little bit of fog over there. Okay, so now I'm just going to fill in all these white spaces. And I'll take it back to the studio and 
you know, sign it and look at it and maybe change it, but. Are you gonna um, develop the front anymore? You're gonna leave it a little out Okay, of well that's it, thanks for watching. Um, I may put a few